Hi, I am playing because that's what's fun to do with these sounds. So this is the installation video. And I'm going to get rid of this because I'm going to show you how to do this. Delete. So we're going to do it this way. Um, we're going to go from scratch. I get email for tech support all the time. So I'm going to make this video and I'm going to send you to this video and hopefully this will help. So there's the wave version and there's the contact five version. This is what they look like when you download them from the internet, the zip files. I am unzipping both of them. And then I'm going to take you through the steps to get them to show up. So let's make that go away. Okay, so let's look at the Contact 5 version first. This is really pretty easy and straightforward. So there's just a folder called the Mega Magic Dreams K5. Now, I want to make it really clear. You have to own the full version of Contact 5. This will not work in the Contact 5 player. I'm not buying serial numbers. There's no serial number sent to you. It shows up in the little files side of Contact 5 full version. So if you're using the contact player, contact me. I will send you a full refund, and I'm sorry. Or, or I will tell you about the cross-grade, because um, if, if you um, have any other libraries for the contact player, that qualifies you for getting contact five for $249, which is a steal. The factory voicing that comes with it, the, the Vienna Symphony library samples alone are just phenomenal. There's so much to it. The, the best deal in the internet, still in my opinion, is the Contact uh, Native Instruments Complete Ultimate. That still is the best deal, no doubt, for what you get for the money. Okay, so, but the, the place, when I made this library, it's looking to a specific location. Go to your Macintosh HD, go to Users and Shared. This is where I saved this. This is where I built it. This is where Native Instruments typically stores all of its libraries. Now I have a separate hard drive called Sample Tank that just has tons of, well, tons of videos as well as sample libraries. And here I have all my sample libraries organized. And one of them is Native Instruments, right? Native Instruments Complete. This has all of the Native Instruments libraries, all these things that come with Complete 10 Ultimate, which are mind blowing, just crazy stuff. Um, so I moved it out here and I told complete and I told a contact and everything that it to look out here So if I put this out here if I was to take this and put it to the external hard drive I'm gonna get an error message when I try to load patches if I put it to, to um, Mac HD users shared I probably won't I won't get error messages because if you're if your computer's name Macintosh HD um, the whole users is a standard part of this OS Shared is part of the OS, so it, it won't have any problems. So now when I go over here and I say complete, and I go contact 10, load it up, and I open up the browser, the typical way is to go here, and you go to Files, and you would go, let's say Macintosh HD, Users, Shared, and there it is. So I go like this, Open Instruments, and now you click these, and you can see the instruments if I say swag and I drop that over here there it is it's working now if I drag this over here and I let up and instead of loading I get an error message saying I can't find something usually it's the NKR resource files it's samples that means that the location that you have placed this folder right here is different than what I used and so it's confused because it can't find it and so there's a, a an option that says search spotlight on the Mac. On the PC, you say select a folder and you go over and you find your Mega Magic Dreams K5 folder and you just select that and say choose and then it will do its thing. Now, if you're getting this error message, you're gonna get it every time you load a patch. The way to stop it from doing that is go files, batch, resave. And it's kind of scary what it says. Just say, I know what I'm doing, say yes. And what you do here is you would go to your native instruments 
Mega Magic Dreams K5 and say choose. And it's going to pop up your error message. It doesn't for me because it finds everything. And what it's doing is it's rewriting every patch inside that folder. It searches, finds them all, and it rewrites them to the current correct location of everything that it needs. So now you won't see that error message anymore. So do this if you have files giving you error messages for any of your libraries. I buy a lot of libraries uh, from other companies like ADO, and sometimes they'll give me these error messages. Batch resave is how you get these error messages to go away. I've covered that before. But I just want to emphasize it since I now have another library coming up for contact. So it's going through all of them. Kind of wait while it does it. I don't want to say cancel because nothing like canceling in the middle of a file and it'll be done in a minute. These last ones down here, the JLs and then the Seth Normans and then the TPs, those are the signature patches that are a bonus to the contact library. And it's almost done. There. Okay. So now you'll be able to select anything from these categories, say from keys or something like that. And it will load up and not give you an error message and off you go. Okay. Now I'm going to show you something that's really cool. It's quick load. I showed this in the previous video shortly. I'm going to show it here too, just in case you didn't see the other video. So we want to click and drag in the little expander down here to make this longer. You can either right click like this, or you can click the quick button. And by doing that, you can go to your folder where you've stored Mega Magic Dreams. Open this, go to instruments. Oh, no, wait, go back. And make sure that you're not on the bank or the multi, but on in. <laughs> make sure that you're on the instruments. Quick load. Grab this instruments folder and drag it right here where you see the little plus show up. And by doing that, you're going to take this whole directory that's over here in files and make it show up in quick load. So you don't have to go to files ever again to get to these patches. This is one of the reasons why I decided not to make it a... Uh, serial numbered library that shows up under the library tab. Because once you use this, it's really fast and easy and I can sell these libraries cheaper. So double click this and say mega magic dreams. And there it is. So now I can go to any category. They're all here. Here's the signature patches. So uh... <coughs> now the thing that's cool with the signatures, the goal is to make things that are different than the library. So these are different. Um, And these are using, I'm going to show you in a minute, some cool tricks with Contact 5. Okay, so it goes on and on. There's tons of these and they're... And you hear LFOs, you hear all sorts of things. That's because inside of contact, right click to make that go away. If you click the little tool wrench, you have a full synthesizer. You have modulation, which are envelopes. You have this effect there. Here's your filter is the R A R L. And this is correlating to this knob right here. So if I have filter down and I have intensity down, let's see, let's turn off these guys. And this is a tricky one because I was playing with time the tone machine instead of sampler. That's what it originally was. You go to tone machine, and then a synthesizer, whatever the sample is. So let's go back to sampler. There's all these things you can change, and then when you're done changing them, go back to the normal interface, go to files, go save as, and save your changes. So I'm going to show you some things you can change that you might not be aware of. You have these on the front. You have the distortion. It's really cool, the lo-fi. And you click these. There's all sorts of noise options. Okay. Glitch is a really cool MIDI repeating of the note, so. 
the rate is how fast it is. And in the corner right here is my little value bar. So if I set this to like quarter notes. Okay, really cool. Because if you make this faster. Now this is eating polyphony. So if you look at this number right here, the voices. It can get to be a fairly big number pretty fast. Okay, so just be aware of that. There's a compressor. Which can get really snappy. If you want the snappiness. Um, now I've got, uh, if you look right here, there's delay, there's tone verb and ambiverb. There's also the ability on the insert effect page, I have a phaser, I'm gonna bypass that by hitting the B button. These are additional slots that you can add additional effects up to seven that are different than what's on the interface. So not only do you have these plus delay and tone and ambi reverb, if you want, you can go gaga crazy and add up to seven additional effects, your own convolution reverb, delay, rotor, uh, distortion things, all, there's the compressor and all, all the stuff that you can add on top of what's already here. If you don't like this uh, filter, click there and then change this to be any other filter. Go back to the multis and get something really cool. And just so you know, any knob you see here, if you right click on it, you can assign it to envelopes or LFOs or external sources like mod wheel and so forth. So I could say LFO, let's say uh, sine wave. And now you see there's an LFO here. If you click the little down triangle, that will take you to that controller. And let's turn off your trigger. And here's the depth, so let's make it less. So you can change the sounds radically quickly. There's so much power in here. So just, just so you know, um, you have all of this to work with in real time. It's really fun. And then when, you, when you're done messing around, coming up with something you like, go Files, Save As, Save As, and that's where you save it. You, you click it, give it a new name, or the same name if it's an update, and uh, off you go. If it's the same name and you're just doing edits and you want to resave it, hit the tool wrench, and then right here's a little disk. Hit that, and it will overwrite the file and save it with the new edits, which I'm not going to do because I, I went, made this kind of weird. <laughs> Okay, so that's the basics for the Contact 5 version. So bye-bye Contact 5. If you have questions, send it to support at pluginguru.com. Send me an email. Let me know your thoughts. If you have questions, if you have suggestions. If you're a graphic artist and a web designer, I need you guys. I want to do some big things to my website, and I don't know how to do them. So anyway, um, okay, here we are with the Wave version. The Wave version is different. Very different. So let's make the contact five version go down here and the zip for the contact five. So it's very different, right? We are now looking at the wave version. This has EXX 24 tw uh, sampler instruments. It has Iris two patches and it has the serum presets. Each of these three are for three different synthesizers. This is the folder of samples. There are 104, they are 24-bit WAV files. If you just hit space, they'll play the original tone of the original sample. And it keeps going. Okay, I should have shortened that one, but I didn't. Okay, so these are the WAV files. This folder needs to be referenced to each of those three plugins. Which means if you're going to have, if you own all three, if you own ESX24, Iris2, and Serum, you will want to command D to duplicate this folder three times. Okay? And when you put the folder into the place where it's supposed to go, delete copy. So that's the exact same name as this. Because it's looking for that name. And if it doesn't see it, in some cases, it's going to cause problems. Okay? Just FYI. So we're going to have this folder open and we're going to put it right here. 
open up Macintosh HD. Let's take a look first at ESX24. Now it used to be back in the day that under library, um, let's see, is that right? Yeah, library, application support, and then you'd find a logic folder. And right here was ESX24 and sampler instruments. And this is where you'd put them and they would show up. But for some reason, they don't show up here anymore. Just the factory ones do. I've put stuff in here and they don't show up. Um, if you want it to show up in the newest version of Logic, uh, older versions, you would look there or else I think also you'd go check users, your own home library uh, application support and Logic. Okay, Logic and go here, but see, it's, it's not here anymore. Um, so what do you do now? It's under music, believe it or not. Music, audio music apps, and then here are your separate categories. So you go sampler instruments, you would open up ESX24 sampler instruments, and right here is Mega Macho Dreams ESX24. Click and drag to put that in here, which, which I have. Okay. And then take the Mega Magic Dreams samples and put that into that folder. There's, a, there's one already in there, so I, if you open it up, there it is. It doesn't show up in the pull-down list of ESX24, but by doing that, now when you call up the ESX24 version, let's expand this so you can see, and you click here and you go Refresh Menu, it's going to have it reread everything, learn where everything is, and there it is. So now you have all the things that you um, have in the library. Um, and if you want, you can go to the channel strip, add EQ, add distortion, add limiters to, to beef it up to however you want it to sound. So this is... <clears throat> I think this is probably the most neutral version because there's nothing you can apply to it except the samples. There's no EQ, there's no overdrives, there's no anything else. And Serum, Iris, and the Contact 5 version all have enhancements to the samples. Um, Contact 5 going probably the farthest in enhancing the samples. Here it's just the samples. Okay. So that's ESX24. Iris 2. <clears throat> this was a fairly new addition because a customer of mine, <coughs> he emailed me and said, I can't wait for Mega Magic Dreams. I'm going to use it in Iris 2. And I was like, hey, this is like four days ago. It's like, would you like to make the presets for Iris 2? I'll pay you for your work. Um, Cause then I haven't, nobody's made libraries for Iris 2 that I know of. And he's like, sure. So he did. And uh, he goes, I don't want money though. I just want all your patches. So I send him everything I've got. He's happy. I'm happy. And now we have Iris 2. So this goes into a different location. We go, uh, so I can check it. Here's the, here's the flow. So it's library application support, isotope, Iris 2, Iris 2 library. Library, application support, Isotope, Iris 2, Iris 2 library, and here's two folders, okay? Now the Iris 2 library, it can't see below this top level of folders. So I had to put each of the categories like this. So drag those into the patches folder. I'm gonna say, don't replace. So it doesn't do it. And then you would take this Mega Magic Dream samples and you'd put that into the samples folder, just like this, okay? So that way you have something in the samples folder and you have something in the patches folder. That way, make this all go away, when you go to Iris 2 and you load it up, here it is and it's playing. And you can do all the drawing. The one uh, couple things to notice. Here's your velocity control, if you want more or less. There's this intensity slider. And sometimes I left it at 100%. And sometimes I left it not at 100%. Um, oh, these are factory ones. I don't want to look at the factory ones. So click right here. And it pops up and say, like, guitar and fender verb. So this has some intensity without it just beefs them up a little bit but it might be too loud so if that's the case turn down the gain here to like minus 1.5 and I also turn down the master output to like minus 1.5 or somewhere around there 
And then if you need more notes of polyphony, click and drag right here to change your polyphony up to 32 voices. But it will tax your computer more and more because this processing, especially if you get over here, if you start painting away and doing funny things to the sounds, um, um, just know that's gonna change the sound because it's heavy duty processing. But this is the coolest library version by far because you can immediately do crazy things to the sounds. I don't know if you guys have played. I'm gonna do a full review of Iris 2 because this is just wonderful okay <laughs> so that's how you get this to work let me show you real quickly because I don't want to take a lot of time doing this Just get... serum has presets that go into a special location which is library audio presets extra records serum presets so let's go over here library audio not application support audio presets extra records, serum presets, and then here's where the... So you would take the Mega Magic Dreams and put that into the presets folder. And it already exists, so I'm gonna say stop. And then this folder, the Mega Magic Dreams samples, goes into the noises folder right here, okay? So you click and drag, and do boop, 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 and it goes in there again. If you do more than one plugin, you need to make copies of this and keep it at this name and put it into the place it expects. If you don't do that, you're going to get an error message and you'll be sad. Okay? So when we go to call it up, go to the list. There's Mega Magic. There's Evil. They all were evil. Oh, I want to be happy. So we'll go over here and play uh, Darkest Grand. And I hid an oscillator usually, but I didn't turn it on because it takes CPU power. Also, the envelope seems to ring out a little bit longer for the oscillators in the samples, just because I don't know the nature of the DSP sounds versus the samples. So it's typically just this noise is all it's playing, usually going through the filter. All four macros are set up to the same thing for filter, sync, sometimes distortion, chorus, and reverb. So Add reverb if you want. Here's your effects page. I usually add a little bit of EQ to get closer to the Contact 5 version. Um, and you click right here, and they're in a list. There's no folders, nested folders, or any of that kind of stuff. So um, there you go. So that's how you install the libraries. And uh, hopefully that's clear for everybody. And there. If you have questions, Support at PluginGuru.com is the email address to send. Don't send me junk mail, please, okay?